everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Stamping. My name is Kelly and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. This video is more about December Daily, but I will be incorporating some Stampin' Up! products. Uh, this particular paper pad uh, was from Sugar and Spice Studio called Magical Christmas. It was from last year. And it's got some really pretty papers in it. I love the deer. Very vintage looking and vintage is a lot of what I do. Vintage colors. Uh, muted tones of the reds and greens as opposed to the bright reds and greens. Um, so I'm looking forward into using this pad as my inspiration. Um, a lot of people use, if you don't know what December Daily is, December Daily is a documentation of December of all your activities and it's a way of capturing the moments every day that make your holiday special without getting too lost in all the hustle and bustle of the Christmas holiday. The, I believe it was, in, it was a conception of Allie Edwards, and I'll link Allie Edwards' channel and website down below. But it has also spawned a lot of other things such as July Daily and October Daily. This was my October Daily book that I put together this year. Um, it says 2018 because I put it together for this year, but it didn't get put together as far as layouts this year. All I got was my foundation pages, but I thought I'm going to go ahead and use this and I'll be ahead for 2018. But what I wanted to show you about this book is while a lot of people use the binders, um, the 5x7, 6x8 binders that Allie Edwards used, Studio Calico, Simple Stories, that kind of thing, um, I prefer making my own covers and binding my own. Now this one I did with the rings and I still want to add ribbons and fibers down the sides to kind of block the, the rings a little bit. But I like the rings because like a binder I can pop them open and I can add things as I go if I see that I need a different foundation page or I want to add more page protectors. That I like being able to do this but it also gives me a little bit extra room that I might not have in a binder. So. For my cover this year, this is what I'm going to cut down and decorate. Now, <laughs> I know that's a little bright and I apologize for the glare. This is the tops of the lids from photo boxes. And all I did was cut the edges off that would slide down over top of your box. And so I'm going to cut these down to size hole punch, and do some sort of a decoration on the front. Now, I watched a video this morning, and I, I can't remember her name, but I'll find her and link her below as well. But she made a valid point. She does all of her December dailies in albums, and she doesn't decorate the fronts because sliding them in and off the shelves can let the embellishments on the front come off. While that is a great thought and something to keep in mind when you're covering the front of your album, I'm going to try and keep everything as flat as possible so that I don't have bulk things to catch on the albums on either side of it. So, nice glittery sparkle, sequiny looking, festive uh, front covers made from photo box lids. Now to the fun parts. You saw one of my papers, and I'm going to get to another one here. I've got a couple others here to use. This one is uh, Vintage Christmas by Recollections. Again, the reds and the greens have a very muted tone to them, very vintage. I love these cut-aparts. I'm going to have so much fun decorating with those, I think. I love this one because it already has a spot on the paper uh, to be able to stamp or stick a sentiment into. And then if I want a little pop of glitter, I have this collection from Heidi Swap that is golds and silvers, creams and reds in both a glitter and a foil tone. And then I have, if you watch my studio tour, you know that I do not lack for paper. And I, while I have lots of paper pads, I also have a lot of single sheets. And these are all paper studios. I love the vintage look, tones of the ornaments, and the Santa hat. I should have bought more of this paper. The holly will make a great background, and apparently I really liked it because I bought several. 
and then the red stripe. And I love this vintage candy cane. I love the... Oh, I can't think of the word. Um, the distress along the border of this paper. So I have those. Oh, and this one I didn't, didn't come apart. The vintage packages. So I have those. And then I'm not going to take these apart, but this is to show you that I have. This is all Martha Stewart papers. And some of those inside I will use because my kitchen for Christmas is done in gingerbread. So some of these will be used on my baking pages and when I show the Christmas decorating that I do in the, in the kitchen. So some of those will be used. And then I have this one that's just a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything this Christmas papers that I picked up. But one of them that I really wanted to show off See how I keep my scraps in a page protector. So I, they're with everything without getting crunched when I slide pages in and out. But I love this cut apart. I have a couple of those. Again, the muted tones on this one. This one's more of a brighter red and green. Not sure how many of these I'll use. Argyles. This one's a little more vintage. This one is by Masterpiece Studios. This one is basic gray. I love basic gray papers. And when it comes to vintage, next to authentic, I don't think anybody does the vintage better than basic gray. And here's some more of the muted tones and the reds. A lot of these I've had for several years. I picked them up when I was doing teaching scrapbooking and paper crafting classes at Michael's in Peoria, Illinois, 11 years ago. So, time to start using up some of these papers. This is another one of my favorites. Let's see who makes this one. Paper Studio, go figure. I love, I seem drawn to Paper Studio papers and products in general. You'll see I've got one of their um, planners that I use, and I'll be showing that in a planner video. I love this vintage holly. And you'll find that I'm also going to be using some Tim Holtz stuff in mine, again, because he's got that vintage nailed. So, I've, as you can see, I have lots of different ones to choose from. This one is Bow Bunny. They're another company that does some really good vintage. And let's see, Paper Studios? No, this is Daisy Dees. I love these little snowmen. Aren't they adorable? How I will use some of these, I'm not sure yet. That will come together as I start putting my foundation pages together, and that's going to be another video. This is just to show you my collection. So, lots of paper to pick from. Ah! I just sent paper flying everywhere. And because I do vintage, I got something else to show you in a minute. But to keep everything collected, I'm doing everything in this basket. Everything that I will use for December daily, I'll keep in this basket on my table so everything is in place. Another one of my pieces from Michael's, my days at Michael's. Okay, now when it comes to vintage, one of the embellishments I want to use, and I can't bear to part with these, but these are vintage Christmas cards that I picked up at an estate auction several years ago. And what I will probably do is photo scan these so that I can use them from year to year and for different things. I want to be able to do some in an art journal that I want to do for later next year. But look at some of those. And I'm looking to see if some of these might even be dated from people. But I'm not seeing any dates, but these are really super old. Christmas greetings from Weans to Ewans. We don't need pretty candles to light up our Christmas tree, because more than likely Uncle Jed will be lit up, you see. <laughs> we don't need to hang our stockings upon no mantel shelf. Our socks is plenty strong enough to stand up by themselves. 
We don't need fancy eggnog because we got old Mountain Dew, but Christmas won't be Christmas unless we send this wish to you. And this one is from Rough Tex by Hallmark. And that's a really old one. So I look forward to using some of these. This one is... Look at these small little Christmas cards. Again, these are all by Hallmark. The detail in these cards is just pretty. New Year's greetings. So I have a whole box of these to play with. I haven't looked at these in a while. Merry Christmas to my pal. We've had good times together and we've shared our troubles too. We've loafed a lot and laughed a lot. Good pals, that's me and you. And that is why this comes to bring my Christmas wish today and say there's not a grander pal in all the USA. Leave it to Hallmark. So I've got these to scan and play with to use as um, embellishments within the page selections. So they'll go in the box. I'm try not to tip this. I have several things that I want to use for denoting the days through Christmas, and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted, so these are the four that I picked up, and I will see as the album comes together which ones I decide to use. I like the flare badges from Recollections, but they're also going to put a bulk to the page, so if I use those, then I'm going to have to make sure that I maybe put one in a top right corner and put another one in a bottom left corner, and then rotate those around from day to day so that I get an even stacking of the pages within the book. These would also be nice. These are from Recollections. I thought these were cute. They looked more like a little ornament tag. But I'm also really leaning towards these big round buttons. And these are number stickers. And so I'm really leaning towards using those. So that's one option for numbers. I've also pulled some things from Pinterest. I think this is, may go on the front of the album. This is from Fuchsia Scrap at Blogspot. And I think these were also from Fuchsia too, but I could be wrong. But I pulled these off of Pinterest. This is so me. When it comes to Christmas, I just want to bake and watch Christmas movies. I have been recording onto my DVR every Christmas movie that has run since Thanksgiving Day. Um... From off of the Hallmark Channel and curling up and washing them at night when I crochet. This one from Scrapbooking at Craft Gossip I thought would be a really cute, uh, just a page break. Every Enjoy every little moment that makes you smile. And then I have several of these. These are all from different places off of Pinterest. But they're all December daily journaling prompts, um, challenges. This one is December daily from Imagination Sprinkles. On, if, you, if you've got a day within the month where you're not really doing anything special, you don't necessarily have to leave the day blank. You can go through one of these and say, December 10th, you're not doing anything. So take a picture of your favorite scarf or of you wearing your favorite scarf. Selfies are great in albums. December daily, you have to remember, like everything else, as much as we don't like to photograph ourselves, we need to make sure that we are documenting us and including us within the documentation of our life. Because these are things that we want to pass down to our children and our grandchildren. And they're going to want to know what grandma or grandpa look like. Um, country livings, Christmas bucket list. Uh, pull out sleeping bags and have a family slumber party under the tree. So if you're not doing anything special, make it a special night. So I've got lots of things in here that I can pick and choose from. And what I thought about doing is breaking them down and putting them like on popsicle sticks or turning them into like an advent calendar kind of thing and pulling one of these off for every for the for every day so um photo a day challenge on the 19th photograph candy canes even if you're out shopping take a different take a photo of the different candy canes that you see um camdenton missouri this year for small business saturday they, a lot of the businesses downtown bound together and created a shopping experience. 
and they put a big can they painted a big candy cane in their store window of all the participants and it was kind of like a store hop where you went into one store you got a passport and you visited all the stores with candy canes and you got your passport stamped and then your name you brought it back to one of to the beginning and dropped it off and your name went into the drawing for hundreds of dollars in Christmas stuff um cash, gift certificates, everything. They said, I think they were giving away like $1,600 worth of stuff this year. And it's to help draw businesses to, or draw customers to the small businesses in town and away from the big box stores. But there's a candy cane. You could photograph every single candy cane for the stores that you visit and include that in your album. Okay. Um, these are going to be great for adding in. I'll get to that one in a minute. These are going to be great for, while these are made for planners, they're also great for adding to the pages within the, within the December daily pages. And then things like these from Heidi Swap, the Take a Moments. My favorite discovery today, um, something that made me smile. And these can be taken out and included onto the strips. Um, page flags from for adding just as an extra little embellishment without and without adding a lot of bulk to your pages so I hope to use some of those there are also a lot of these on Pinterest that you can go in and print out and cut out or create your own in word or works um, here's another one from Yuletide from Pink Paisley and this is strictly Excuse me, this is strictly Christmas stickers. Best Day Ever, Twinkling Lights, Santa Baby, um, Deck the Halls. So there's a lot of these, and these will really pop off of those page flags. Speaking of page flags, I can make my own. This is from Stampin' Up's holiday catalog this year, Brightly Lit Christmas. And these have the stamps as well as the coordinating dies. Now, these two here also cut out the wreaths and the bows from, well, they, they also cut these out, but they also will cut out the images out of the designer series paper Christmas around the world that was in this year. I love this one, the most wonderful time of the year, and this will fit within this, and then this will, will cut out with the dies so that we can add things from Stampin' Up as extra embellishments. So that's one stamp set I'll use. I also have several others here. We have our Merry Cafe. It was in our holiday catalog. Uh, Christmas Cheer and a Happy New Year it has some snowflakes for decorating. And we have the dies also for these cups. And then this one also includes sugar cubes, which could also be marshmallows. And smaller cups. So these will make nice embellishments in the book. Best gifts. I love this. And I want to create a window card. And I'm thinking I may create a window tag to go inside of the uh, journal. Or the December daily. So I've got this one to put together. And then... Let's see. What else have I got for Christmas? Uh, this one is Merry Patterns. This was a special that was brought out earlier this year. And I love the candles and the stags. So this is one that I'll probably use. This one will be good. Uh, sweets for my sweet. Made just for you. The December Deliciousness with the gingerbread. This will be perfect on the first weekend, I don't know what the dates are, but the first weekend in December when I do my holiday baking. Every year I do baking. We don't have a lot of um, people that we give presents to, but we do like to recognize all of the people that have served us through the year. So the first weekend in December, I spend three days baking and putting together sweets boxes that I take around to the police and fire departments and the tire guy and the post offices and all the different places that have been served us throughout the year which is my way of giving something back these are cute from Stampin' Up! Christmas in the making again the little vintage girl for Christmas the gingerbread and these also have a punch with them 
And the reindeer is actually the gingerbread man, flipped upside down. Peace on Earth and Deck the Halls. I love the ornaments here. I think these will be good for embellishing tags. Another one of the vintage with the vintage Santa and toys. I hope that maybe this will give me the opportunity to work with the stamping blends. The new alcohol markers from Stampin' Up. And then this one has holly and bows. And I believe there's a, this is a punch for the bows, or for the holly leaves and berries. So those are the Stampin' Up sets I want to play with. I've got two from Tim Holtz that I want to work with. I can get a hold of him. One is this bow, and they've got the snowflakes, but he's also got the garland with the bows, and then just the tinsel garland. And I want to punch some of these out and use those. And this one for Believe, and I this may also go on the front cover, but I've bought quite a few things over the past few years, and it's time to start putting them to use, so there we go. The other thing I'm going to be using from Stampin' Up! are, ah, this is our Memories and More kit, which was our version of Project Life that we started this year. And these have got some nice cards that I can use. Let's see if I can fan these out. Santa Claus. I'm not sure about using the green so much, but we'll see. And they're all double-sided, so there's something different on all of all of them. It's the best time of the year. And then I've got the 4x6s as well as the 2x3s. So, lots of those. This one has some overlays, acetate overlays with it. So, that one was this year's. And then this one was last year's Project Life. And I used this set to make a set of my Christmas cards. But there was a whole bunch of these that just said December. And this might be, I'll have to check and see, but that might be a place to put my numbers and use these bases for my number cards. We'll have to see. But those are in the white and the craft. Another place that's already pre-printed on there to just stick one of those stickers from Heidi Swap in. Um, back up to this one that I just, just lost. This one here, this might be a good place to put, say, your top five for the day. Things that you did that made you smile. Um, top five gifts on your children's wish list. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but I really like this one. So we'll have to see how that comes about. That one would be a good one with my husband. Meet me under the mistletoe. Last year, I wanted to do December Daily. I had a kit all put together. I knew what I wanted to do, and I even took pictures every day. But the album itself didn't come together. But this year is really special. For the first time in 34 years, my husband is going to be off for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Of course, this year it also means that he's laid off till after the first of the year. But in 34 years, we've never been together for all three holidays. So this is really special. So... You, Something about pearls for bullets, points, and your journaling. I love the pearls. And then we have these. These are white accents from, but these will also color with the alcohol markers. So I can change the color of these. And then lastly, I have these. I have the little tree paper clips, these cute little gingerbread pieces. I have a couple of wood things that I picked up from out of the dollar spot. More of the flare buttons. This may be a way that I can bring in the flare buttons instead of using them as the as the uh, the dated the dated ones. Use these in place of and just add a little bit of flare here and there. These are by my mind's eye. And I love these. These are gift tags. But what great little spots to add within the journal. Now they're a little brighter red than I think I want to use, but I think I can tone them down by putting them against a craft background. So we'll try that. 
And then I have, I don't need the whole package of these from Santa, but of, of Santa heads, but you know, they come that way. So I'll have lots of Santa heads to use over the next several years. And then this one is also, um, this is from Amber, Amber LeBeau from Mary and Bright. And I'm, yeah, I'm dumping these out and I'm probably going to make a mess, but I'll show you why here in just a minute. Getting them in and out of this package routinely will be a disaster. And I can't really see anything. I can't pick through them and see what I want. But, there's some cute pieces in here. I love the Gold Noels. Tabs. Holly, I love the mistletoe. All nice little punch outs that I can use. The stag deer. <gasps> Look at this one with the old man Santa in there. I love that. But DVD cases are great for keeping these smaller embellishments in. Now there's a naughty. I wonder if there's a nice in here somewhere. Or if somebody knows something more about me than I wish they knew. There's a little string of Christmas lights. And a lot of these are on a clear acetate, so they'll they'll become part of your background instead of standing out so starkly. So I can put all of these, that cute little ornament, I can put all of these in here and be able to pilfer through them when I want and get the pieces that I want. I'm trying to get them all without losing the stars into my lap here. Close that up and then stick this in the plastic cover sleeve so I know what's in there and that'll store just like that so I think that gives you an idea of what I plan to work with for my December daily um, oh I have fibers fibers was the other thing I have tinsels and I got these I think at Michaels because they're from American crafts and I have the red green, silver, and gold. Again, the more traditional red green as opposed to the, the muted. And then I have, these are Scotch Washi. And then I have this one from American Crafts. And I just, it's just that little something different that makes your album stand out. So those are the embellishments, all the ribbons I'll be working with. And I think that gives you an idea of what I'll be playing with. I'm not going to do a post every single day about December Daily because I have other things that I want to share. But I hope to do a video once a week recapping my week. Crossing my fingers here. Um, we've had some technical issues with the camera before and I think we've got them straightened out. So I'm going to be doing more videos in a wide variety of things but everything that falls under my stamping and paper crafting not just stamping up so I hope you'll come back and to my studio for another day of playing and seeing what I'm playing with and hoping that I can inspire you if you like what you saw today or you plan on playing in December daily and want to make sure that I get to see you please leave a comment below and I'll come check out your December daily posts and I'd love to have you as a subscriber so that you never miss an episode in my studio so please subscribe and if I can help you with anything or answer any questions that's what I'm here for scrappers get together and we play and we craft and we have fun and we inspire and we share and that's what I hope my channel does for you so creative blessings <laughs>